Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Isaac Gray, and today I would like to talk with you about hosting websites on Heroku. Uh, Heroku is a free website uh, hosting service um, that allows you to host your application um, within minutes. So it's uh, very developer friendly, very easy to use. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, as you can see here in my code, I've got some basic HTML. Um, which just uh, basically says host on Heroku. Um, I've got one JavaScript uh, linked and uh, that's about it. So let's go ahead and let's look at our local host. Okay, so as you can see here on our local host, it's displaying the HTML just like you want. Um, so we know that uh, we're not getting any errors. Um, so in essence, we should be able to look uh, host it on Heroku without any problems. Um, but before we do that, we need to uh, import what is called a CDN um, to make sure that if we have any outside dependencies like uh, libraries, um, in this instance, we're gonna use jQuery, uh, then you need to put those in a CDN format. Um, otherwise, you're gonna have problems hosting your uh, application to Heroku. So, um, let me go ahead and show you what I mean by CDNs. Um, I like to use cdnjs.com, uh, very useful. Um, so all I'm gonna put in here is jQuery, okay? And as you can see, I get a number of different uh, jQuery uh, CDNs. Um, a lot of them already have built in functionality, um, but we just want the basic um, jQuery CDN. We're not looking for any package in particular. So we're gonna copy the script and we're just gonna drop it right in here in our JavaScript. Now, in our Bower components, as you can see, I have uh, the jQuery library. Um, this will now pull from uh, the internet uh, versus a, a local file. Um, it doesn't work when you're trying to host things live. Okay, so now we've imported our CDN. Um, let's go ahead and host it, uh, host it to Heroku. So if you don't already have an account with Heroku, uh, it, again, it's free to sign up. Uh, different plans, uh, you know, and hosting services will allow you to uh, um, do different things uh, at a cost, but the basic hosting service is free. So we're just gonna do that thing. So once you uh, signed up and logged in, on your right hand corner, you're gonna see this plus button. So go ahead and click that. And we're gonna go create new app, okay? And we're gonna name this app uh, Hosting Example, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and create this app. What it's gonna do is it's gonna give us a metric of uh, instructions uh, to where we'll easily be able to push it into the Roku Cloud and uh, anyone can view it from anywhere instead of just uh, the developer on uh, your local host. Okay, so as you can see, um, our first step is to type in Heroku login to our uh, command line. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's gonna ask for our email and password. And it's the email that you signed up to Heroku with. Okay, so as you can see, authentication was successful. Let's go ahead and see what else we need to do. Okay, um, we've already CD'd into our project, so we need to go git init. So we're gonna initialize our repository, and then we're going to uh, copy and paste the uh, remote origin so it knows uh, what it's targeting on Heroku. And then we're going to go ahead and add it. And now let's go ahead and uh, commit it. We're gonna call it initial commit. Okay. And uh, now we need to go uh, one last step, git push Heroku master. Okay. 
And this is the really cool part. You're actually going to see it building onto her Roku. Um, so it's basically uh, going to uh, put your files on there. Um, so if you, even if you delete your project file um, on your local computer, uh, it's going to be safe and uh, sound up in the cloud. Um, so uh, yeah, that's what another great part about Heroku. It acts like a memory card for you, um, just in case. And then of course, you should always have your backup code on GitHub. Um, so you have multiple resources to pull from. All right, as you can see, it is done building and uh, deployed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out on Heroku. So we're gonna go back to personal apps. And as you can see, hosting example uh, has been added. So go ahead and click on that. And then um, go ahead and click on the top right hand corner and let's go open app. And as you can see, now we have uh, the same uh, HTML, but instead of rendering our, in our local host, it has rendered uh, in the name of our app, .herokuapp.com. So as you can see, we are able to do that in uh, five to 10 minutes. Very easy, uh, very straightforward. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Thank you.